This is Priscilla Lenora Miles with Crystal Clear Ministries. Envy. Now, we're talking about love. Remember 1 Corinthians. This is part two. We're talking about envy. Now, love does not envy. You know, envy is like jealousy. Rachel and Leah in Jacob's life in the scripture, they were jealous of each other, envious of each other. Why? Rachel was envious because Leah could have children and Leah was uh, jealous and envious of Rachel because the King David, uh, Jacob late loved her more. Now these are sisters. And yet jealous of and envious of each other. That's not love. That's not love. Now look at this. How about King David? Envy of uh, David. I mean King Saul. King Saul envy of David. And so much so that that dysfunction ended up going to his daughter, King Saul's daughter, which was David's wife. David's wife going to be all bent out of shape and envious because David was so happy to bring the ark into the city that he was just rejoicing and having such a good time that the women were just, you know, his clothes falling off and the women just having a fit about this. And, and Michal did not like that. Just like her father, getting all jealous and envious. So I say that to say, in a relationship, you can't be envious. You can't be jealous. You have to work together. See, envy separates. But c c love comes together. You could do so much more when you work together. When you envious, it separates that. It, the, uh, the foundation. It breaks apart. Because you're going against each other, trying to do it on your own, thinking you know more than the other. But when you work together, you can get more accomplished. You can be more impactful. Let's not be envious of each other in the kingdom of God. What's going on here? Let us not do that. Envy is not a good thing. It is not love. And in a marriage, you putting it in your vows, love is not envious. A spouse should never envy or put another uh their own spouse the one that they love especially if you're working in a ministry how can one person be doing great in a ministry and the other person is jealous of that when you're supposed to be working together what did i say it separates instead of coming together don't separate the love don't separate the ministry don't separate the togetherness and the spouse and the relationship based on your envy and your jealousy of the other person come together in love come together in a christ-like love that's what we need to be do no envy part three next god bless you